LXL A-Level Maths Statistics, October 2020, question 5. A health centre claims that the time a doctor spends with a patient can be modelled by a normal distribution with a mean of 10 minutes and a standard deviation of 4 minutes. For part A, we need to use this model to find the probability that the time spent with a randomly selected patient is more than 15 minutes. So our model is a normal distribution with a mean of 10 and a variance of 4 squared. To solve this, we're going to put it into the calculator and use our normal distribution mode. The values we're going to put in, we're looking for more than 15, so the lower limit is 15. The upper, we just put in a very large number, I put in a million, it doesn't really matter. The standard deviation is 4 and the mean is 10. Putting those in, we get the probability x larger than 15 is 0 0.1056. Some patients complain that the mean time the doctor spends with a patient is more than 10 minutes. The receptionist takes a random sample of 20 patients and finds that the mean time the doctor spends with a patient is 11.5 minutes. For part B, stating your hypothesis clearly and using a 5% significance level, we need to test whether or not there is evidence to support the patient's complaint. So our null hypothesis is that the mean is still 10 as it was before. As the complaint is that the mean is more than this, our alternative hypothesis is that mu is larger than 10. We're now dealing with a sample, so our model is very similar to before, but we're now going to say x bar is modelled by a normal distribution as before, with a mean of 10, that hasn't changed, but we've got to be careful with the standard deviation. So because we've got a sample size of 20, we're going to divide the variance by 20. So the variance is the 4 squared that we had before, divided by 20. Or we can bring the 20 inside the square, meaning we've got a standard deviation of 4 over root 20. Again, we're going to solve this by putting it into the calculator, only this time our lower one is going to be the 11.5 that is mentioned in the question, and we're changing our standard deviation to 4 over root 20. Putting that into the calculator, we get 0 0.04677. This is smaller than our 0 0.05 for the 5% significance level. So we say that it is a very unlikely event, so it's significant result. And then we've just got to remember to link this back to the question. As it's a significant result, there is evidence that the mean time is more than 10 minutes. The health center also claims that the time a dentist spends with a patient during a routine appointment, T minutes, can be modelled by the normal distribution, where t is a normal distribution of mean 5 and standard deviation 3.5 squared for the variance. For c, using this model, we need to find the probability that a routine appointment with the dentist takes less than 2 minutes. So using our normal distribution, 5 and 3.5 squared, putting this into our normal distribution calculator, a lower limit of something suitably small, so I've gone for minus a million. The upper limit is the 2 that we're trying to work out the probability that it's less than. Standard deviation of 3.5 and a mean of 5. Putting all this in, we get that the probability that t is smaller than 2 equals 0.1956. C part ii, we need to find the probability that t is smaller than 2 given that t is larger than 0. So using our normal formula for the probability of one item given another, we know that this must be the probability of t smaller than 2 intersected with the probability of t larger than 0, all over the probability of t larger than 0. Now looking at this numerator, the intersect of smaller than 2 and larger than 0 is just the probability that t is between 0 and 2. Again, we're going to use the normal distribution calculator function with the correct bounds in, so for example the bounds of 0 and 2 for the top one, and 0 and something suitably large for the bottom one. Putting them into the calculator we get 0 0.1191 over 0 0.9234, which is 0 0.129. For part 3 we need to explain why this normal distribution may not be a good model for t. 
So if we look at our probabilities that we've just calculated, we can see that the probability of t being smaller than 2 is 0 0.1956, while the probability of t smaller than 2, given that t larger than 0, is only 0 0.129. So the probability of t smaller than 2 is a lot larger. So this model suggests there's a significant probability of t being smaller than 0, which in the real life example would obviously be impossible. The dentist believes that she cannot complete a routine appointment in less than two minutes. She suggests that the health centre should use a refined model, only including values of t larger than two. For part d, we need to find the median time for a routine appointment using this new model and give our answer correct to one decimal place. So we're looking for the median time. So we want a value of t such that the probability of large t larger than small t given that t is larger than 2, is equal to 0.5. So this would make it the median in that half the times would be above, half the times would be below. Using our formulae for probability, we know that the probability of large t larger than small t, given that t is larger than 2, is equal to the intersect of the probabilities of t larger than t and t larger than 2, all over the probability of t larger than 2. But we also know that our small t is larger than 2 because it's the median and the dentist is saying everything has to be more than 2. So the intersect of the top is just going to be the probability of our large t larger than small t. Now we know that the given that probability on the left hand side is 0.5. We've worked out the probability of t larger than 2 in the previous question. So if we put them in we get that 0.5 is equal to the probability of capital T larger than small t, all over 1 minus the probability of t smaller than 2, which gives us 0 0.8044 on the bottom. Multiplying both sides by 0 0.8044 gives us a probability of t larger than t is equal to 0 0.4022. If we're going to use our calculator now, we need to use the smaller than so this is going to be the probability of capital T smaller than little t is 1 minus 0 0.4022, which is 0 0.5978. We can now use the inverse normal function on our calculator with an area of the 0 0.5978 that we've just worked out, a mean of 5 and a standard deviation of 3.5, giving us an answer of 5.9 to one decimal place. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.